first of all thank you ma'am for the introduction and i thanks to dilip sir and his team for giving me this opportunity to interact with the young researcher along with some distinguished speakers now i really congratulate the uh, organizing team to organize such a wonderful event now because in india even in abroad now there are so many development is going in the field of the uh, special function and fractional calculus now our days i cannot separate the special function and fractional calculus both are going together so it is good event and there are so many prominent speakers like professor mathai professor menadi kg ma'am and pathan sir devendra sir and other speakers so even from our phd days we have learned lot from these people so now it's a good opportunity for the some of the young researcher who begin this begin their career in this field it's a good platform for them to to learn so many things that we learn in our phd days so basically uh, the theme of this uh, webinar is the special function and their applications now nowadays there are so many theoretical papers are published by several authors there are very few papers on application side even though we know that uh, special function has so many application in particularly mathematical physics and other engineering branches very very few papers nowadays lot of generalized function have been developed lot of unification is going on but still there are very few papers which are touch the application part of the touch fractional touch operators so that's why i have took this topic to see the to spread the awareness of the application of the special function through fractional calculus so that's why i have choose this topic the application of beta lecture function in image processing through fractional calculus basically so my total overall the talk will be divided in three parts so i will begin with the fractional calculus i can see the list of speaker uh, gaji ma'am is there professor menadi is there devendra sir is there so i think these people are also touch fractional calculus but i think this is the first talk regarding the fractional calculus so i will start give my talk with the fractional calculus fundamental of fractional calculus and then second i will go in the image processing and in the later part we will see the fractional calculus and image processing and in the uh, later part of my this talk we will also see the role of beta calculator function in image processing and in the end we will conclude with the some recent development so i think the young researcher will get some uh, idea about the working in the application of the special function so basically to begin with the calculus calculus fractional calculus let us start with the calculus so basically calculus is what calculus is a study of change whenever we want to model some change so calculus will take part and in calculus we have two components that is a derivative and integration so derivative we call it rate of change of an integration we call it area under the curve or application part it can be considered as area under the curve it is a continuous summation and we are finding a lot of application of calculus even in science and engineering so there are some standard systems we have such as rlc circuit mass linear system and we have so many application of the multiple integral i mean classical integral so we cannot even uh, assume our study without the calculus so calculus basically it is a study of change so one natural question can be arise in our mind we know that the derivative order is always an integer just we are taking that 1 2 3 and so so one can ask the question why it is only the integer so natural question can be arise in our mind why should not be a half order to pi order even in complex order so we can think about the order of function order of derivative as non integer 0.7 1.4 pi and transcendental complex order so the branch of the mathematics which deals with the derivative and integral of arbitrary order or complex order is called fractional calculus so basically fractional calculus is what it is a derivative and integral of arbitrary order real or variable now uh, some question can be 
arise in our mind is it does it make any sense or is it is just any fantasy or any rigorous theories behind that some question can be arise in our mind if it is uh, make make sense then how to calculate the fractional derivative and how old it is uh, what are the percentage of the acceptance of the community research community or does it have any meaning or why we should study it is there any application in science and engineering so such a uh, question can arise in our mind before going to see the theory so this fractional calculus is not a new branch it is as old as the classical calculus so once in a 1695 the dated 13 september like el hospital asked the libnis what is the half order derivative of function okay. so libnis el uh, hospital asked to libnis this question and libnis beautifully replied this question answer thus well, this is a useful uh, this is a paradox from which one day some consequence will be drawn so with this answer actually fractional calculus was born so due to this that so the community the research community celebrate the 13 september 1695 birthday of fractional calculus so it is a very old branch of calculus but there were no application at that time so that's why this branch is developed very later so basically it is old as classical calculus so there are some pioneer contributors in the field beginning from the 17th century you can see that leibniz euler langrange laplace fourier abel i think in 1823 the first application was developed by the abel and leoville riemann so now the question is what are the rate of acceptance by the community so till that more than 15 books have been published i think it will be more in number some dedicated international journals are there journal of fractional calculus applied analysis progress in fractional differentiation and applications so some standard journals some standard journals are for the fractional calculus and first international conference was held in us in 1974 and one special international conference conducted every year called uh, every two year called fractional differentiation and applications and recently in 2020 the first online conference on modern fractional calculus an application was held in turkey so now the research community is accept this topic and now several people are working one even so many people are working on that more than 10000 people are published on a single topic of the fractional differential equation now some fact about the fractional calculus so already rigorous mathematical theory have been developed now now integer calculus is a special case but geometrical interpretation physical meaning also exist but it will be not like uh, the interpretation which we can give for the classical derivative and there are more than 30 definition of fractional derivative operators are there even though it will be more than 30 nowadays so actually this is a beauty of fractional calculus we have different de definitions for the different situations under books on fractional calculus so we can see that the book written by the kilbas srivastava tujiya in this book even there are complex order fractional derivatives second one is podlubani's book this is a very important book because there are so many applications are also given in this book we can also see the miller and rose book there are some other books and the richard herman's book that is uh, those who are from the physics background so it is uh, it covers so many application in the physics lastly the recently one of the nice book which was written by the santnu das he is a former scientist in brc so he wrote a very wonderful nice book kindergarten of fractional calculus we cover from the even beginning to the higher level so this is a wonderful i strongly recommend this book those who are beginner now we begin with the some basic fractional calculus operators So we begin with the fractional integral that is riemann liouville fractional integral so let nu be the non integer fractional order f be the piece wise continuous function on some interval and the riemann liouville fractional integral of f of order nu can be given by equation number 1.1 that is an integral 1 upon gamma nu an integral e raised to nu minus 1 f of tau d tau 
So this integral involves the power law kernel. Okay, so this is a standard gamma function. So this is called Riemann-Liouville fractional integral. If we see that mu equal to the integer, then it will reduce it to the classical integral. Now, second part is the Riemann-Liouville fractional derivative. The earlier it was Riemann-Liouville integral. Now second one is Riemann-Liouville fractional derivative. So we can see the riemann level fractional derivative of order nu is given by the 1 upon gamma n minus 2 times the derivative of integral t minus tau n minus nu minus 1 f of t dt, provided the integral is exist. So this is fractional derivative, riemann level fractional derivative. You can see that that is an antiderivative of an integral. Now from seeing this definition, there are some observations which we can prove. Definition of fractional derivative involves an integration. Actually, we are calling it fractional derivative, but it is a classical integral. An integration is of the convolution type. And the kernel is weakly singular. You can see that. Here, the tau is running from 0 to t. So, if we take t equal to tau, it will become non-singular. It will be singular. The kernel is weakly singular. It is of power low type. You can see that. So this is a power low kernel and it is singular. These are the pseudo differential operators. So, so that is the fractional derivative, but it will be in terms of the integral. Now, another version, or if you see the advantage of the advantages of this operator, because the derivative is the outside of the integral, so we don't require the differentiability of a function. Even we don't need a the function should be continuous at a origin. These are the advantage of these operators. While this operator, riemann level derivative, has certain disadvantage. So the biggest disadvantage of being used the riemann level derivative is when we model the real phenomena in the uh, real world problem. So the, we need to impose the initial condition in fractional form, and that will be very difficult to see the physically. So that's why this riemann level derivative is not applicable in the real world applications because the initial condition if you model the problem with the riemann level fractional differential equation so initial condition will be fractional and that will be very even it is not possible to give the interpretation of that initial condition another disadvantage is riemann level fractional derivative of constant is not zero so that will be not somehow agree with some physical phenomena so these are the disadvantage due to this this operator is not useful in uh, not useful in real world application but later we will see that it has a so many application in image processing so i will show it the experimentally how it will be used so that's why capito have uh, developed another operator that is called capito fractional derivative so only the difference between the riemann level and capito is this anti derivative is inside in, in riemann level integral, it was riemann level fractional derivative, it was outside that integral. So this derivative is just inside of this integral. So due to this, this is a very limited, this will cover very limited function. Because in order to use the capito fractional derivative, we need to have the higher differentiability of a function. Okay. So the fun differentiability of function is required. But this is very important and if you see the most of the paper of the applications so you, you will find out this operator the reason is when you model this uh, when you create a mathematical model using the capital fractional derivative so initial condition are classical initial condition so it is very easy to give the interpretation of this condition so for this reason this is the most applicable definition of the uh, fractional derivative and one more thing, the, const, the capital derivative of constant function is zero. So there are some advantage and another advantage is the Laplace transform of capital derivative. The Laplace transform of the capital derivative, it is an extension of Laplace transform of the classical derivative. So it is very easy to deal with the analytic solution, even numerical solution also. So that's why this capital derivative is applicable. But this the operator has also have some disadvantage. If you see that here again, the problem is that the range of tau is between 0 to t. So when tau is equal to t, so this operator is singular operator. Even though 
even we if we use the capido derivative in modeling even the modeling has no any sign of the singularity then also we have to use this capido so this is a issue that will be arises in uh, the modeling of the non singular system so capito derivative has two disadvantage first one is so in order to use the capito fractional derivative we should require the higher condition of differentiability and one more is not all system will follow the power law distribution if you see the statistically it will not follow the power law distribution even the singularity of this uh, power law imposes the model to be singular so we have to use the singularity when we are model the problem with the capito derivative even though system have doesn't any sign with the singularity so actually this will uh, misleading the result okay so in order to avoid this issue even capito himself uh, gave the new operator so that we will discuss later another definition is the grunewald letnico derivative most of the engineering people are using this even those people who are working in control theory image processing these people are using this definition that is an extension of the classical definition of derivative so this is called grunewald letnico derivative and this is approximation so most of the engineering people are using it when they are modeling and most of the i think control theory experts are using this definition so this is grunewald letnico later we will apply it in the image processing we will see that the application in matlab so earlier i told you that in capito derivative the problem of the singularity was occur because the kernel was power law that will be weakly singular in order to avoid this problem capito himself gave the new definition of the fractional derivative that call it capito fabrizio fractional derivative in 2015 so they use exponential kernel so they use exponential kernel instead of the power law so using this operator they are giving some beautiful result so there are nowadays there are so many paper published on mathematical modeling with the capito fabrizio fractional derivative so this advantage is this kernel is non singular even the system has any no singularity so this is a very important definition that is a important application of that operator and in the same year professor balianu and professor atangana they have developed another definition that is called atangana balianu fractional derivative so instead of exponential they have used metaglet per kernel this is a very important function special function which is closely related with the fractional calculus because most of the differential fractional differential equation have solution in this so they have used this kernel now what are the advantage of this kernel this function is non local function look at that we have we have the parameter nu so this is a non local kernel and exponential is a special case of the metaglet kernel so this is a non singular as well as non local kernel so this operator work significantly so where the metaglet kernel function that is an extra uh, extension of the exponential function so you can see that this is the definition of metaglet kernel function now these are the why I, I, earlier i told you that special function and fractional calculus closely related to each other the reason is that because there are so many functions which are appear as a solution of fractional differential equation one of them is metaglet kernel function right function menardi function so these are the function which are arises as solution of fractional differential equations so even uh, we have seen that some of the paper against this operator so not total community have accept this concept but what i have for this is my own point of view in some situation this operator working very well such as the image processing i will show it today experimentally so this operator work this metaglet kernel function uh, play a very important role in image processing while in the case of the visco elastic modeling this operator is not working very well there are not any significant results are obtained okay. so actually this is a beauty of fractional calculus we have the different type of definition for the different situations okay. now uh, so these are the generalized metaglet kernel function so the two parameter metaglet kernel function is the defined by the this series expansion this was given by the women in 1905 and then one more uh, generalized metaglet kernel function which is a three parameter 
So it was, it was introduced by the Prabhakar in 1971. These are the generalized uh, metagolector function. So after that, there are so many generalized version of metagolector functions are available. When the people have generalized, the introduced more variables, they have introduced more parameters, even they have developed the matrix analog of this. So there are so many kind of generalization and unification of metagolector functions are available in literature. These are the integral. So whenever we have a derivative, so we require anti-derivative. So this is a Tangana Balenu integral. So this is the integral uh, that is anti-derivative of the Tangana Balenu fractional derivative. We can see that. So to know more about these operators, you can see that these two paper. So one of the very interesting paper was written by the Professor Atangana and Professor Gomez, that is decolonization of fractional calculus rules. In this paper, they have beautifully expressed the importance of metagolifer function statistically. So why this kernel, the metagolifer kernel have significant results, gives the significant result in modeling. So I must recommend the young researcher this, to read this paper. So you will find out very interesting properties of metagolifer function in this paper. Why they have choose the metagolifer kernel? They have correctly they argued that. So now, so these are these are the fractional derivative. Now, if you see the fractional differential equation, the fractional differential equation that is differential equation involving fractional derivatives. As for example, look at that. This is a fractional baglet or weak equation. It is a half order derivative. So this is fractional, and this is a useful in oscillatory process with damping. Okay. So this, this theory is also uh, properly developed, ordinary differential equation as well as partial differential equation, linear, non-linear, existence, uniqueness, solution established. See, sometimes analytic solution are very difficult to evolve. So people have also developed the numerical method to solve the fractional differential equation. Now in the end, this is a summary of this development so if you see that fractional derivative which all are involved integration and while you deal with the classical derivative that is the, the derivative that is a limit at a point so integration is a non-local operator because integration is defined on an interval so fractional derivative is non-local operator now this is a very important thing when you calculate the time derivative of a function at some point the system is to remember all pass point because its derivative, its definition is the integration. The fractional derivative can be used to modeling system with the memory. When the system has to remember the past memory, so in that case, fractional derivative is a good, uh, is an excellent tool to model the system. So that's why the fractional modeling right now becomes so popular due to this reason because it is non-local. And there are some systems with the memory, it can be modeled beautifully, accurately with these operators. So, now what are the applications? So, earlier we have asked the question, what are the applications? So, actually this uh, branch was developed in 1695, but applications are just only last 14 years old. So, there are two kinds of applications, modeling the system and the control, fractional order control. So in almost all branches now people have found the application of the fractional calculus, viscoelastic materials, polymer materials, so all these things in signal processing, chaotic, image processing, astrophysics, in almost all branches they have found. So this was the first part of my talk. I will move to the second part that is image processing. So basically my talk is on the application of the metagolifer function in image processing, but I will explain it through the fractional calculus. I will begin with the fractional calculus, now we will move to the image processing. Basically the question is what is image? So image is mathematical, it is nothing but the two dimensional signal. It is a function of two variables. Okay. So in terms of the MATLAB it will be nothing but a matrix. So whose can be, uh, whose function is, which is ultimately the function of two variables. Okay. So I will later I will show you in the MATLAB what is the image and how can we deal with the image processing using this our special function and fractional calculus. So digital image processing, so basically image processing is it is a process of digital images 
some computer software <laughs> so basically image processing is nothing but processing of the images using computer software so there are three kind of image processing low level mid level high level low level that is noise removal image sharpening mid level that is recognition segmentation high level that is scene understanding autonomous navigation still i am telling you that not still fractional calculus have not still proper application people have developed the proper algorithms for the image processing so, so many open problems are there in this field it is a wonderful topic for the young researcher now why image processing is required basically when sometime we receive the images from space or either from some uh, underwater images so it will be not clear so we are not getting proper information so using some mathematical algorithms we can uh, give the proper interpretation of that image so that's why some processing is required so actually processing of image for storage in transpiration so sometime this plays a significant role to get the information from the images so those who wants to see some fundamental of image processing can read this book it is available in google it is gonzales and woods it is a very nice book okay. so there are three kind of image we have rgb so look at that all the examples are given second one is gray scale third one is a binary all these are the accepted formats now representation of image see these things are very uh, important to understand before i am going to take the special function part so what is image image is basically nothing but a rectangular array of integers basically it is a matrix whose entries are the pixel values so image of size m cross n is given by the rectangular array and whose entries are nothing but the pixel values which can be given by the functions of two variables okay so in matlab we can give the n by n array in this way so this is the array so basically this is my image later i will show you in the matlab now one more concept that is uh, important to understand is mask so mask is uh, already image is nothing but the rectangle or a matrix when mask is the small rectangle that we are going to implement on the original image so the image can be so we are getting some processing of the image so ultimately we have to create one more rectangle or one more matrix that is going to implement on the original image okay so that is called mask mask that is a rectangle or other shape over the given image a new image whose pixels have gray value calculate from the under the mask so exactly we already have the image we are going to implement the one more rectangle that is called mask and there will be some procedure i mean some operation will occur between the image and the mask and we are getting the new image okay we are getting the new array so that will be actually process the image so i will show it these things in a uh, experiment so suppose this is my part of my image and this is my mask mask also can be called filter so if i implement this filter on my image so look at that so each element will multiply by the corresponding element of the filter and they will be add so the new value will be replaced in the middle of this image value so this will happen to the each element in the image this each element to the image so image have some new value so that will give the new effect in the image so ultimately now our question is how to generate this filter only the our investigation is how to create this filter okay one more thing is that is edge detection this is also one of the branches of the image processing to detect the edges because this is a very useful in the physics uh, even the image is coming from the space So they were they are interested in some edges to detect some edges. So that is another branch of the uh, image processing that is edge detection. So they are using these four operators, these two type of matrices they are used, Trivet and Sobel operator. Now instead of these two, so first we will uh, later in my last part of my talk, I will implement these mat these two matrices on image, and I will also uh, implement the the fractional mask. on the image and we will compare the result 
usually these are the standard operators which people are using to detect the ages so i will show all these things in matrix uh, if you are interested in the fractional order image processing so you first you should read this paper this is a review paper which is available it is a very nice paper so this is a general algorithm how can you deal with the image processing using the fractional so first of all you should have a image you have the integer order method and then you will generalize either you can take the riemann level operator gnoll lettinko capito or you can take this tangana baleno operator there are some more operator are there use the discretization method obtain numeric solution and make a mask so this is algorithm so this all detail are given in this review paper so those who are interested in this topic you should read this paper now image announcement now what is image announcement so basically image announcement is a procedure to improving the quality of image to get the some useful information from the image so basically it is a process to improving the quality okay. so there are some method uh, to announce the image frequency domain method spatial domain methods okay. now the so one can ask the question that what is the theoretically proved that the fractional image processing will give the better result than the classical differential operator so i will represent these things uh, using the fourier transform so integer order differential operator performs better for high frequency feature of image i told you that that is sobel prevet operator so this will be working fine when we have high frequency feature but whenever we have the low frequency images so the integer order are not sufficient to perform better and in that case we had a fractional uh, we had a uh, we had a tools fractional tools to deal with the image processing okay and fractional order differential operator has capability of not only preserving the high frequency contour but also improving the low frequency texture detail the classical integer model will working well in the high frequency images whenever we have low frequency images the fractional will be working uh, very smoothly in both okay. high frequency as well as low frequency i will show you the reason also why it will be working very well so look at that to understand this let us see that assume that this is a image we have okay. so we have the image it is a function of two variable So let us implement the fractional derivative operator on the image. Okay, so this is the fractional derivative. Uh, there is this is a fractional derivative of the image. So we had applied. Now let us apply Fourier transform. If we apply the Fourier transform, this is the Fourier transform we have of fractional derivative. So you can find out this all these formula on that in Podlu Bani's book. So this is the Fourier transform. So we are getting this. so now we have actually two domain time domain and frequency domain okay so we can draw the graph for various fractional derivative look at that so on x axis i have taken a frequency on y axis i have taken amplitude so for various fractional derivative we had draw the graph look at that so as we change the order of fractional derivative we are getting different graphs okay uh, so frequency versus amplitude now so these are the frequency amplitude graph we are obtaining when we have implemented fractional derivative or integral on image now what are the analysis from the graph so you can see that is the increase the order of fractional derivative the fourier amplitude decrease and frequency increase okay see classical derivative in classical derivative we don't have any choice of order we cannot control the process while in the fractional we have uh, controlling parameter in our hand our fractional order are the controlling parameter in our hand so if so you can control your system if you increase the fractional order derivative the fourier amplitude decrease and frequency increase now the larger the frequency as the frequency will be increase the shorter distance between the function and the edge of the image this is a very interesting as the frequency and this thing is not happen in the classical derivative So as the frequency increase the distance between the function and the edge of the image become 
so we can cover more edges of the image and the larger the gradient of the image so the gradient of the image will be larger so therefore the gradient of the image can be characterized by the frequency the larger the frequency great larger the gradient so frequency areas are more closer to the edge of the image okay so when the fractional order different order and differential order get close to zero the area of the corresponding image tend to be smooth so that is an advantage of fractional derivative so we can cover more area of image now how to create this mask earlier i told you that we had original image and we have the mask the only question is how to create the mask so now i will discuss how to create the mask for the image processing and later we will see how can we use the metaglyphor function now so in eight direction we have to create the mask so these are the eight direction we have the mask these are the eight direction along which we have to create the mask and we have to put it so it will be create a general mask basically mask is nothing but the matrix so look at that this is a general mask so when i put it the mat, uh, the mask in each direction so this is the procedure how to uh, create this mask there is a paper so i will cited all this paper in this and i will also share this presentation so you can see that you can read all this procedure because in this time i cannot cover everything so this is a general mask that we have created now only thing we need to find out so these all are the coefficients that we have to find out by applying the discretization of the fractional derivative so this we need to find out this a0 a1 a2 and this coefficient now look at that this is a general mask now centrally we can take it 3 by 3 or 5 by 5 7 by 7 so it is ideally to take the odd order mask 3 by 3 5 by 5 7 by 7 9 by 7 so if it is 3 by 3 the center so i will get it these three masks so 3 by 3 fractional mask if i will take it the 5 by 5 i can take it this 5 by 5 look at that so here i have mentioned so you can use either 3 by 3 5 by 5 7 by 7 whatever you use whatever the good result we are getting so in some paper I have seen they have used 5 by 5, in some paper they have used 3 by 3. So today I am going to explain how it will be work on image, whether you will take in 3 by 3 or 5 by 5. Now I will take some operators. So I will start with the renewal Lettico derivative. Earlier I had defined this. Earlier I had defined this operator. So this how we can see the Grunoa Lettico will play the significant role in image processing okay so this i already defined earlier now so this is the discretization of the grunewald letni code definition it is available in this paper you can see that so if we apply the grunewald letni code derivative on a function so it can be discretized in this way in two dimensional it can be written in this way because our image is a two dimensional function so basically, when you apply the fractional Grunewald Letnico derivative on the image, so you are getting this discretization. So this is in y direction. So look at that. What are the coefficients? The coefficient of f is 1. Coefficient of the second part is minus mu. This is third. So this is my a0 is 1. a1 is minus mu. a2 is minus mu, minus mu plus 1 by 2. So look at that. These are my coefficients. So basically, these are the coefficient of that matrix, that filter. Earlier I show you that. So these are the my coefficients. So basically, what I have to do, I have to implement the fractional order derivative on image. I need to find out these coefficients. And from that, I have to create that matrix. So simply I am getting my coefficient a0, a1, a2. So these are the coefficients which I have obtained by using uh, the Grunewald Latnikov derivative. Okay. So look at that. This is my matrix. This is my mask. 3 by 3 mask. This is my 5 by 5 mask. Okay. So this is the in this way I can obtain my mask. Okay. So this is 3 by 3 mask and also 5 by 5. Now I will show you in MATLAB how it can be implemented on image. Okay. So now let me uh, let me go to the let oh, oh just a minute. Can you see my MATLAB image? Can you see my MATLAB screen? No. 
No. No. No. Uh, you just share the entire screen, then then uh, it will. Okay. Now is it visible, sir? Yeah, now it is visible. Yeah. Okay. Yes, okay. Yes. So I will show you how it can be implemented on the image. So I already have prepared this command. First, I will read one image. Look at that. This is one of the image that is astronomical image. So there is a one criteria to check the uh, the information on image that is called entropy. Later I will tell you what is the meaning of that entropy. So entropy of this image is 7.12. So as the more entropy, the is, uh, image has more information. That is a probabilistic definition. So that is one of the criteria to check the quality of the image. So I have, as you increase the entropy, the image has more information. Okay. Now I will implement this mask. So I, I will choose the fractional order 0.5. Not necessary that, but I had verified that it will give me the better result. So this is the mask which I have obtained by using the rule node let me go definition. Now I will see the result. So I will implement on the image. So there is a procedure in MATLAB. I will show you both the image together. You can see on my screen the left hand side image is the image, the usual image, the right side image is the image which is processed after applying the Grunwald let me go mask. Now let us see the entropy of the second image, the new image. So if I, so if I find the entropy of second image, look at that, it will increase. So we can enhance the image by using the Grunwald let me go. Still, I have not used any special function here. These are the Grunwald let me go definition of the image. So, okay. so can you see my presentation now? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay. okay so, so this is the mask that we had implement. It will work better. Now, these are the entropy that we had used. Entropy that is a uh, probabilistic definition. That is a randomness of the image. If the image is more Entropy that information uh, image is more detailed. Okay. Now another is the fractional, the Riemann Liouville integral or Riemann Liouville derivative. You can say so the mask we can create by using the Riemann Liouville integral. Look at that. So these are the discretization of Riemann Liouville integral on image. This is my image. If I apply the Riemann Liouville integral, I am getting this discretization of that. So this is also available in this paper. So from that we had create the mask. Look at that A0, A1, A2, A3. And these are the masks which we have obtained by implementing this uh, discretization with Riemann level of fractional integral or derivative. You can say this is the 5 by 5, this is 3 by 3. Now uh, I will show you the performance of this. I already have this. Let me clarify all this. I will show you the performance of this. So I will lead the image. This is the image that I have read. Now this is a simple image. Now I will add the noise because what happened? Sometimes the images comes from the space and that is full of the noise. Now we will see the denoising part. Okay. How it will be? Denoise. So I will add the Gaussian noise. So I will show you, look at that. There are two images on your screen. The left hand side is the usual image. And the second image is the image obtaining after adding the noise. Now suppose this noisy image is with you. Now if we implement the fractional mass, that is the riemann liouville definition. So I have choose the order 0.7. So I have used this mask, look at that, oh, this is actually the new image after implementing the mask. So after implementing the Riemann Liouville mask, oh, I, I will show you this, both the image, now look at that. The first image is the noisy image, second image is the image which is after implementing the Riemann Liouville mask. 
so little bit noise is uh, you can see noise is removed little bit not much okay so if i find out the psnr psnr is another criteria to check the image look at that so the psnr of the noisy image is 19.9 and after implementing the grunol uh, riemann level fractional derivative we are getting 21.78 so these are the advantages of the fractional calculus in image processing now i come to my topic okay so this is a psnr that is another criteria to check the performance of image so these are the formulas of psnr okay so as the higher the psnr the better quality of the compressed or reconstructed image exactly psnr will take play, uh, will play the role when we have the reconstructed image okay now i come to the my main topic so that is mitagliffer kernel see earlier i had defined the fractional derivative with the mitagliffer kernel so in my previous two experiment there were no any role of the mitagliffer function but now this is the mask which professor atangana and ganbari have obtained using the mitagliffer kernel okay so now i will check the performance of the uh, this with the mitagliffer kernel okay so again i will show you this performance i will go with the same image okay i will go with the same image so i am adding also the gaussian noise so i will go with the same image okay so i have taken the same image and i have added the same noise so to see that so we can compare the result of riemann level and at that mitagliffer kind of now i choose fractional order 0.7 so i think i have randomly did it but uh, we can find out the base or even if we can find out in paper so this is the mask that uh, obtained by using the mitagliffer kernel so look at that this is the mask or this is here i am using 5 by 5 matrix earlier i had used 3 by 3 so using this 5 by 5 matrix just this matrix was obtained by the mitagliffer kernel so i had implement on the image so if i implement on the image look at that so look at that the left hand side is the noisy image the right hand side image is the image obtained by the applying the mask with the mitagliffer kernel derivative so this is the actually importance of mitagliffer function and due to the non local nature of the mitagliffer function it can cover more part of the image now let us see the psnr of both this so if i find the psnr look at that the original it was 19.07 by using the riemann level we found 21 point something and with the mitagliffer kernel we had 23.06 so we are getting better result while we using the mitagliffer kernel due to the non local nature of mitagliffer kernel okay so it is a very good uh, work for the special function people so to obtain the better result with the generalized special function okay. now in the last part of this talk this, uh, that is the so last experiment i will show you in eight detection earlier i told you that in eight detection either fairwit or sobel operators are used but here in this paper ganbari and atangana the they have developed the fractional mask using uh, the uh, using that mitagliffer kernel for eight detection so earlier i show you the image denoising now i will discuss so again uh, look at that i will take the same image okay so i am taking this image now the second one now i will use the classical matrix that Uh, generally people are using it that is pervit operator so this is pervit horizontal pervit operator so i will use the pervit operator and i will see the result i will show the result look at that this is a second man second one second image that is eight detection the idea of eight detection is to detect the edges so using the pervit operator we are getting this figure we are we are getting this image for eight detection okay now i will use the fractional mask with the mitagliffer function so i will choose 1.7 fractional order 
and I will directly show the performance of the fractional mask. So these are the matrix. These are the uh, operator. These are the matrix which we have obtained from the Metagliflor kernel derivative. Now I will show the performance of both these kit detection. So I will show you. Look at that. The first image is the eight detection by using the classical derivative. Or, or the classical operator. Second one is the eight detection by using Metagliflor kernel derivative. Okay. So the second image is the more information, more edges to be detected than first one. Let us do the TSNL. Let us find out. Look at that. The first image has the PSNR of 5.9, and in second, it will be improved. So Due to this metagliflor function, we are getting the better result in eight detection also. Earlier we got that the base result in image denoising. This is eight detection. So there are 10 to 12 branches of the image processing are there. So I am only touch only two. So what are the possible areas of the application of even fractal calculus and special function in image processing? So image enhancement, image denoising that I already show you. Eight detection, then segmentation, registration. These all are the field which are possibly still not proper work have been done. So, so many things still are open. Some of the recent development you can see some of the papers they have used the Grunewald Letnico, Riemann Liouville derivative, eight detection. And we can see these papers. Even though I can see on the 24th we have a lecture of Devan Research, they are going to cover fractional operator with special function. So one can work, one can find the application of this operator in image processing. Even also Prabhakar integral. See, I have not seen a single paper on image processing and Prabhakar integrals or Prabhakar derivative. So one can think over it. Okay, so with this, sir, it is open for any question with permission of chair. Thank you so much for such a wonderful talk. You 